<laughs> That's how it started, and it wasn't good. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of the TLA International. This week, I am heading out on a two-day trip. I'm taken by my friend Gary Wee, who is with Team Seahawk here in Malaysia. So we're gonna, you know, go fishing out there, fish at night, and then stay over the boat the whole day. And then, uh, and then at night, we're gonna stay on the boat overnight, and then in the morning, we're gonna fish again and probably make it back in the morning uh, back here in Penang. If you guys haven't checked out my last video with, with Gary, I was fishing and we went for snakehead and also peacock bass. I'm just kinda excited, you know, to kinda go out here because it's a two day trip and we're gonna, you know, fish over the evening. And uh, he said it's mainly gonna be like bottom fishing, so it's come almost like rock fishing. So, um, that's gonna be something I'm familiar with, so I think I should be able to, you know, you know, at least land something, clean up with the boat, man, and then from there we're gonna take off. So, uh, okay, so that's the that's game plan for today. So the other day, the other day, Gary and his or his friends went, right? Friends went. Look at this. Look at that. You know what? That's some big fish. But look at that thing, man. Look at that thing. That's a huge grouper, man. Gary has not have caught a fish in eight hours. So Gary's gotta go meet up his friend. We're here right here in the beach area and I'm gonna go check it out. So nice right now, it's like perfect like 75, 80 degree. Yeah, so I'm gonna check this out while Gary um, gets uh, his friend. So this area here, if you look at all the boats right here, it's so awesome, it's crazy like fun. It reminds me like of like Hawaii. Like literally like Hawaii, but like at the fraction of the cost. Definitely like a fishing village. But man, you guys have a look at this. Just look at this area. Like, so, so awesome. Like, it's like fishing in paradise. It's like fishing in paradise. Gary, why are you so lucky to live here, man? Yeah, you can you can move here also. <laughs> Gary hired this basically a charter boat or like a guy, you know, boatman. They call him a boatman over here in Malaysia. And uh, dude's supposed to show up at like four o'clock. And he told Gary he would be ready by like three o'clock. And it's like five o'clock right now, and he hasn't even shown up. And he's just like. You know, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. So Gary's like stressing out. He's like over there just like looking at, you know, trying to find out where this guy is, right? And then, and, uh, cause we still have to get our bait and we still have to load everything on the boat. And the dude is just not here. So this is not the best thing right now. It's just like, it's so much drama, unnecessary drama. I guess it's good for the video. And we gotta take all our stuff now to the boat. And then we're gonna go get some squid? Squid or octopus, Larry? Like, yeah. Octopus, we're gonna get some octopus. Cause tonight we're gonna do some bottom fishing. Savage, he's gonna use some live octopus. <laughs> and they're so smart, you know, the octopus are so smart. Yeah, they're smart. And then they're not gonna be smart enough to run away from a grouper though. <laughs> bunch of like octopus right here and I, I agree with Gary if we can't get a fish with these octopus we're gonna eat it ourselves <laughs> uh, the, the main thing is you know if you put all together the space is not enough yeah. they might they might they bite might... each other oh. yeah. octopus fight yeah that's why normally they put inside a separate mm. So not only for Google, it's also quite many. <laughs> eat it, Gary. Eat it, live. Eat it, live, Gary. <laughs> okay. Before fishing, we have to do some weightlifting. <laughs> 
We got everything loaded. I'm tired, Gary's tired. We haven't caught any fish yet. Even one of our octopus has uh, found its way out of the out of the container. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, fighter boat. Ah, fighter boat. Champagne fighter boat, but you have to shut down. Yeah. He is little barracuda. <laughs> Big barracuda. <laughs> it's been about an hour and a half since we made our trip up there, and we have arrived at the Russian rank. <laughs> the Japanese uh, kamikaze warship. warship. <laughs> So, so we're gonna drop anchor right now and we'll, we'll look to see if we can find some fish. So after a few hours here, uh, we got our first fish. So that was a two smaller groupers of the size. So the groupers aren't really that big right now. So we have to kind of switch tactics there because the the bigger groupers aren't kind of around. The smaller groupers are. Around, so they're using uh, squid now, just like chopped pieces of squid, smaller pieces, so that the the groupers will actually start hitting it quicker because the smaller ones will just start hitting squid. So the game plan has basically changed. There's a few small fish, so we we just have to kind of use what the the ocean kind of gives us right now. So. <laughs> so we were messing with the line and then the snapper hit. <laughs> Try to get it? Oh, snapper. <laughs> Gary is so proud of the snapper. <laughs> Are fishing in 
some really rough weather. These swells are just rocking the boat. <laughs> In many ways, it's pretty treacherous. Um, like, it would just kind of be slow, slow, and then we just get hammered by these these huge waves. It's like boom, boom. It was just like rockets on this one wave, almost like like knocked me out of my uh, <laughs> the wear area while I was kind of sleeping. It's rough. Ah, uh, rough. It's uh, choppy. I got about three to four foot swells, seven seconds. So it's not flat. Earlier it was flat. Now it's just kind of like. I have found my bed for the night. It's pretty, actually pretty comfortable. I'm kind of looking up at you guys around. And so, right up there, looking right there, is the moon. And it's pretty nice to kind of look how far up there. his nice gear, no uh, fish. The locals create these floating structures with bamboo underneath them to draw in the bait fish. These man-made structures create a haven for bait fish, but also pull in large predatory fish such as mackerel, barracuda, mahi-mahi, and cobia. Yeah. Right away. Live bait right away. I had literally no time to fish. I just was just dropping it down and then guess what? I, I got hit on the way down and I and Gary go, you got a fish! I was like, no, I don't got a fish. And he go, you got a fish. And guess what? I did get a fish. I got a cobia. Got a nice cobia right here. Sorry I couldn't film it, you know, we just it was just more of a random bite than anything else and I had no idea that it was even on until it actually just started running like crazy. And Gary enjoying his couple noodles. Mm. Mm. <laughs> At the top man. We can't get a One more. Like three of them. There's three of them. There's like three of them. The whole school down there. Oh, boy, yo. Huh? Even like this big river, you can't even handle them.
big, big, big fish. Oh, wow. All right, oh man, what a two-day adventure. So glad to be back on land, so glad to be back on land. All right, well, it all kind of started up good. And then over the night, it got super windy, and it came out all bad. And then it went out good again, we got some big fish. Oh my God, it's so, uh, so hot. Now it's getting hot again. This place is all crazy. All right, uh, we may have some more adventures coming up. Thank you, Gary, for this one. Thank you, Gary, for this adventure. Check out uh, his website. Yeah, seahawkfishing.com, okay? Check him out. All right, so uh, I'll catch you guys next time on another adventure of TLA. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.